Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode four, a final hardware overview of Bijou. Some things I've changed, some updates, that type of thing. Um, firstly, I want to point out that I have new uh, a new foot mount here for Bijou. Much nicer, I'm really happy with this. So this is the standard foot mount that'll probably be on all my printers, simple core, Bijou, Defiant, all that kind of stuff. Um, I also updated a tool head on from one of the, a V0 mod, um, essentially. Um, this tool head is called the V0VO tool head and it supports Dragon hot ends and it does have two 3010 cooling fans. So better cooling. If you had a Dragon hot end lying around, this tool head makes sense. I also made a sail fin adapter for this. By default, this tool head supports the Hevort uh, extruder, which is another good extruder, but I already had a sail fin, so I just made a sail fin adapter so that I could use my existing sail fin. Um, yeah, if you have a dragon lying around collecting dust, this makes sense. I wouldn't buy a dragon just for this printer. Um, it adds like $100 Canadian to the build, which maybe doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but um, it's just another option for everyone. Um, Shout out to the designer of the V0VO. Uh, I just basically modified it for Bijou, so that's pretty awesome tool head there. Uh, like I say, if you do have the, the Dragon hot end already. Um, I have assembled here, this is the lead screw Z. Um, it does work fine. I've done a little bit of testing and stuff with it. Um, it seems to print just fine. It's not quite as stable as the um, belted version, but I don't think there's any issues with the print quality. Uh, my printer is having issues with print quality, but I think it's the actual uh, reassembly of this printer. I don't think it's an issue with the design because um, my original Bijou, which was the same, had a quite nice print quality. I was actually really happy with it. This one, however, does have some weird issues. I don't know. There's some binding or something maybe. Um, it, it's a functional printer and it does print okay, but it's definitely not to my standards at all. So I, I do want to point that out. I'm sh I don't know if your Bijou will be the same or uh, better than mine. Um, it was the same with uh, Dragon Hot End. It's the same with my tool head with the CR10 Hot End. So I just want to point that out there. Um, I also want to point out too from the last video, I do have a alignment tool for the belted Z. So this actually goes into the frame here like so. And then your linear rail goes in here and you can align the linear rail top to bottom really nice and easy. So that tool is on the GitHub as well. Um, the lead screw bed does use 10, 100 millimeter 2020, three of them. So that does add a little bit extra to the build. However, the nuts and bolts and all that kind of stuff are way less on the lead screw Z. But like I say, the lead screw Z, it's a cantilever bed. So it's not gonna be as rigid as a bed that's supported on both sides. So definitely take that into account. Um, I also wanna put it out there too, if anyone's interested or on the fence about this printer, I am next year gonna be updating this printer most likely to be Core XY. Um, and probably just slightly increase the build area. I'm probably gonna go with 20 or 250 millimeters extrusions, not 200. So that way this will have a 180 bed, make it a little bit more useful. And I also wanna change this to like corner plates, not these three-way three -way corners. So there'll be a redesign of the parts of course, and then core XY and that type of thing. So I just wanna put that out there in case anyone's on the fence about this printer. Um, you know, certainly wait for MK2 when it does come out, but um, this is the final episode for hardware uh, assembly and overview. I will make a fifth episode, just quickly going through the config file for Bijou. This printer does run senseless homing, that type of thing, so I can explain a couple little things there. Uh, this printer also does support Clicky Probe by default, so, that's also something to note. Um, 
So yeah, I just wanted to kind of go over a couple things that I've done, a couple little changes here and there, and kind of showcase the print quality that I've been getting. Like I say, I am pretty sure that the, this printer printed much better when I first assembled it and the CAD and hardware hasn't really changed. And like I say, I've tried the belted version and the lead screw version and it's the same. So just take that as a note. But I'm hoping people do build this printer and mod it and send me, send me the mods on Discord and I'll upload them to the GitHub and we can have a really awesome community just around this printer as well. So as always, my Discord is in the description below. My Patreon's in the description. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch everyone next time. Thank you.